Welcome this morning to our Truth to Power session. My name is Daniel Allen. I'm an executive director uh, with Santa Ana Unified. We still have a few people coming in, but we're going to go ahead and get started. You're probably trying to figure out what in the world are we doing here? What's this all about? On the screen. Uh, Everybody, pull out your phones. You've heard Adrian's story, Adrian's story, and we want you to vote. So the question for you now is, I can relate to Adrian's experiences and concerns. This is, that story is kind of my story. If you strongly agree, agree, disagree, get your vote up there. Tell us, well, how does the room... All right, how many votes do we have back there, Stacy? 103 votes. Keep them coming. We know there's more than that in the room. Fantastic. I'd like to hear from one or two people, somebody who strongly agreed or agreed with Adrian that wants to share. I got one right here. And so I'd like to welcome our, I'm going to introduce just briefly our first guest. He's going to talk a little bit about himself, and he's also going to welcome you. Former mayor of Los Angeles, Mr. Antonio Virigo. So we're glad to have you here, sir. I know these are really, really important times. The theme today is truth to power. Since I was 15 years old, I understood that in this country, we could challenge power. We could say no to the most powerful people in interest. That no matter where you started, you could speak up and defend yourself and say, si sí, se puede, I can do it. I remember a teacher telling me once, you know, after I dropped out and I was going to night school, he told me, hey, you're in physiology, you're in biology, you're doing pretty well. He said, what are you going to do after high school? And I said, well, my mother would like me to go to law school. Maybe I'll go to law school. He says, oh, no, 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 no. You people, um, you people come from countries that follow the Napoleonic Code. You know, you, you won't be able to understand the logic of law school. I said, oh, yeah? I said, and then he said, I, don't, I said, well, I'm, I'm going to go to college then. And he says, well, I'm not sure you'll make it in college. And I said to him, did you go to college? And he said, yes. I said, well, if you can go to college, so could I. Now I'm at the California State Assembly looking at legislation that, that uh, I believe will mean something to you. So I'll end, end my quick story there, but just let you know that one of my big pieces of legislation uh, is to make college affordable with tuition free uh, and access to college. And um, I just want to say that, you know, just keep at it. I mean, you can, do, you can do whatever you set your mind to do. Even though my parents were uneducated, they were very adamant about edu education. I mean, my father, in his whole, you know, chaotic environment, used to say, you have to be a lawyer, you have to be an architect, you have to be a doctor. And I'm like, Dad, you're crazy. Like, how am I going to be all of that with, you know, just like I'm only one person. I can't do that. But education was still like the only the thing that they constantly just stayed on top of us and I really feel like if it wasn't for my college education obviously I wouldn't be here today so um, I'm happy to be here I hope that there's something that I do or say today that hopefully will motivate you guys to keep going and next but if I talk for half an hour and you get one sentence that'll help you get through a class or get through a day or get through a traumatic experience, that's all you need. Sometimes you have to listen to a person for a half hour just to get 10 seconds worth of information. So I hope you get something today out of, out of what, I, what I say or what one of us says to get you through it. This is why we're here, to help you guys get through it. Today, I really want to hear from you today. I really want to hear from you today and, uh, and hear what you have to say and what's going on in your life. But I want to say this. I want to say this. I am your city, one of your city council members. And after this last election, we decided that we were going to go straight ahead and take on this administration and say you are not coming into our house and pushing us around. So we created Santa Ana into a sanctuary city. And right now, we are working to try to make California a sanctuary state. So I want to hear from you guys. Thank you. Today's event is a, an opportunity for our students to speak to individuals who are out there making a difference in the world, whether it's in politics or the arts. It's, it's a chance for our kids to tell their stories and to learn a little bit about how some of these people got from where they were when they were in high school to where they are now. 
What are you expecting out of this event and what, are, what impact are you expecting from the students? Well, I, I hope what we get is a deep, rich conversation and that it's not just presentations from the stage, but it's a kind of a back and forth between the students in the room, the students in the classroom, the students on Google Hangout, to the people that are on the stage. And so I can't say that there's a specific goal because we want to let the students drive this. So are other students going to be able to hear about this great event that's occurring here at Saddleback High School? Absolutely. We have about 250 people in the forum. And beyond that, we have social studies and language arts classrooms across the district who are logging on. It's being live streamed on Facebook and on the um, 21st Century uh, Team website. Um, there are Google Hangouts going on, and so there's a whole lot of ways that hundreds and hundreds of Santa Ana kids will be involved in this conversation. Hi, what is your name and what school do you come from? Hi, I'm Victor Gonzalez, and I'm a senior here at Saddleback High School. My name is Anvi Fan, and I'm a junior at Saddleback High School. What are you hoping to get a, get from this event? What I'm trying to get from this, what I'm hoping to get from this event is a greater sense of how I'm represented within our our government, whether that be local or statewide, and feel as if I do have a voice and I do have a power within our society. You know, the youth are under this misconception that our voice can't be heard because we don't have much of a say in what goes on in government and stuff, but I really, really yeah. want um, the people here to use their voice to fight against the, the uh, injustices that are going on today. So. Hi, what is your name and what school do you come from? Um, uh, my name is Violet Cisneros and I come from Valley High School. My name is Alexander Robles and I come also from Valley High School. What are you hoping to get from this event? Um, to spread my knowledge of what I've been through and just, you know, let people consume what they don't know. I just, from this event I hope I could get like some real answers, like questions that are being um, asked to me. So I just want people to understand what we have in mind. Hi, what is your name and what school do you come from? My name is Adrian Ivara and I come from Godinez from Amanda High School. I'm also from Godinez from Amanda High School. My name is Eli Nieto. What are you hoping to find from this event? Well, I mean, as far as we know, um, we're going to be asking, you know, like a lot of questions, you know, and I guess I, we're just hoping, you know, to see if we could improve anything or at least gain um, some more knowledge. Yeah, I just agree with him. I'm just trying to find like some questions and try to have some answers for those questions. Hi, what is your name and what school do you come Nathan from? Nathan Rivera from Santa Ana High School. Salam Macias from Santa Ana High School. What are you hoping to get out from this event? Um, just learn about Santa Ana more and try to help the community as much as I can. As well as Nathan, I want to do the same. I want to learn more about our community and just give my feedback of what I've experienced. Um, how is this going to be impactful in your lives and other students? Um, I just want to see the, the actual kids that made those videos. I watched them and uh, I want to hear them in person and see what more they have to say about the topics that they made videos on. I feel like with what I'm going to learn today, I can take it to school and share it with others and just try to make a difference. Uh, my name is Zeth Fuentes and I go to Century High School. What are you hoping to get out of this event? I'm hoping to get my, my voice being heard. A lot of um, a lot of opinions are being said, a lot of um, uh, ways that we can all contribute to this community to make it a better place, not only for us, but for the future students that are coming along the way. Hi, my name is Sadler Ward, and I am the creative director for a company called Kids Entertainment. What role do you play in this event? I'm one of the panelists today. Uh, super happy to be here, and hopefully I'll give some good insight to the group out here. So I write books and comics and social change uh, through entertainment. So I hope to give them positive images and see what images they need so that I can help provide more outlets for them to feel welcome at home and comfortable.